I'm Chamorro, so that means I'm of the bloodline of the people that uh, make up the Northern Mariana Islands, and I'm particularly I'm from Guam. The people of Guam is very family oriented, and you know you knew your cousins, and everyone's cousins, and you'd always go to parties. But the things that I'd like to do, I pretty much studied a lot. I I play piano, so I played that a lot. In my high school years, I was a member of uh, our debate team, and so I, I did a lot of those sorts of things, you know, very into school and into church. The, the island is a Catholic community, mostly. More than 80% of the people are Catholic on the island. And my family is very Catholic too, so we were raised in that tradition. I definitely am very aware that I'm one of very few people who do what I do with the background that I have. I always felt different, you know, growing up. Most of my friends were doing other things, and so I was kind of the only one doing or loving the things that I loved, mathematics and the sciences. I've always loved mathematics, always. I think my dad was also good in mathematics, and that kind of helped me too. But also, the late Mel Perry, he was my high school professor in trig and in pre-calculus, and, and he was amazing. So he inspired me and also pushed me to continue doing what I'm doing and go on to college and, you know, do well in whatever I do. And um, so he was one of my early mentors. I definitely, had my aspirations to going on and doing all I needed to do to get where I want to be. I did want my doctorate. I had the plans of going to um, University of Portland. They offered me a full scholarship and that sort of thing, and I was very excited. But um, my mom sort of had different ideas in mind. She wanted me to be closer to family. And so she heard about Loyola Marymount. She wanted me to check it out. So I said, OK. It wasn't my first choice, but you know, in retrospect, it's definitely the best thing I've ever done. The small atmosphere, the very intimate atmosphere that the department had, the professors were very caring, nurturing, always available. And Herbert Medina kind of plucked me out of all the other students to do an undergraduate research project with him, and that's the sort of thing that changes lives. I had always worked hard, you know, in, in school I've always studied, I had a good uh, sort of study habit. and and um, I knew what I needed to do to succeed, even at that level. It's just, you know, just keep working hard on everything you do. Do everything when you're told to do it, and you're going to do fine. But I think also part of it is doing the thing that you really love to do um, and being true to that. I didn't start out in mathematics. I actually started out in chemistry and you know, thinking I'd be a doctor uh, of medicine. But I can't do a lab to save my life. I knew, I knew the mathematics behind all the things that were supposed to happen in chemistry. You know, I knew the, the reaction equation and this is the thing that's supposed to happen. So in the lab, that never happened. All my grades were so bad because my lab's were, results were so horrible. So then I just canned the whole thing. So no more chemistry for me. I graduated from Loyola in 95. I was the recipient of two national fellowships. With all that sort of funding in the background, I kind of had my pick of schools. So I thought, you know, if I go to a big school, which has, which is good in just about everything, then I'd be able to pick something eventually and do that. My graduate choice was University of California at Berkeley. While at Berkeley, Herbert Medina, was doing a, a research experience for undergraduates program in Puerto Rico. And he asked me if I'd like to be a TA for this program. And of course I would love to be this TA for this program, you know, six weeks in Puerto Rico. It's like, wow, you know. So that got me into a specific discipline. I was enamored by the subject, it's beautiful. It's about Grobner basis and com computational commutative algebra, polynomials and all this stuff. And the guy, at Berkeley that did it, Baron Sturmfels, was amazing. He was a, he was a wonderful guy. And I, I asked him, can you please help me learn this stuff? And he did. And he had recommended that if I wanted to do, continue in this topic, that maybe I should consider um, doing this topic, but at other institutions. And he had pointed out some places. And I eventually ended up at New Mexico State University. It was a small environment you know, a lot of professors there, a big algebra group, and two of them did computational commutative algebra, and so I kind of had my choice. It was, it was, a, great, it was a great fit. 
I am the first Chamorro woman to get her doctorate in pure mathematics. When you're in a community that's family oriented, your family doesn't even want to let you go. You don't want to go. In fact, all my cousins are still in Guam. It's not just uh, people don't want to leave. Also, it's hard to get into it. On the islands, you know, growing up, I didn't have a whole lot of, oh, you should go off and get your PhD in mathematics. No one there was there to tell me this, but I kind of knew that I had to leave my island to get my degree. As a professor, as a mathematician, there are not a whole lot of us who are from the Pacific Islands that do what we do. So not only do we have to continue contributing, you know, doing our own research, teaching our own classes, but we have to even go beyond that and always remember to, to look back and help the others, you know, move forward. That's an important part of being um, one of the first to, to do whatever it is that you're doing is to not forget where you came from.